Welcome to the Michigan Runner Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. Here at Steve's Run with a group that came from southeast Michigan all the way from Detroit and Southfield. And it's pretty close to a clean sweep of age group awards in the 10K and 5K here. So we've got some pretty good stories here. Jackie Blair, you won the 50 age group, is that right? Correct. Jackie, what did you think of those hills? I thought they were just very difficult on a hot day. It was very, um, it was just very difficult running those hills, especially with the weather being so hot. <laughs> and next we have Mike Stone, and uh, you had some pretty stiff competition yourself out there. Oh yeah, it was uh, lots of competition, lots of young guys, and uh, it was a lot of fun actually. But uh, we were passing each other on the downhills and uphills, but a lot more hills than I expected. And I had told everyone this was a fast, flat race. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Ron Ruffin, did you believe him? Uh, I believed him, but he was wrong again. <laughs> but we survived. Well, it's not known for being flat and fast, but it is known for some stiff competition. How'd you beat all those people? Well, you know, it's persistence. Uh, I have my friends and my teammates here, and we always want to do the best when we travel. I'd say you did a good job today. And Corey, tell us about your race today. It was a good race. Uh, it really challenged me, but. Uh, I felt with the support and there was people were very nice with the water and I thank God at the end. <laughs> did you, which one did you do today? I did the 5K. What did you think? It was a good race. A lot of support. We appreciated it. It was well, well organized. <laughs> and we have another age group winner and I forgot your name already. Ellen. And you, you won your age group in the 5K and it was a really stiff uh, competition out there, wasn't it? Yes. And just how did you beat so many people? Um, just try my best, you know. I had a problem on mile two, but I just picked it up mile three, so I had fun. Kelly, you're pretty good. You've uh, won a couple of races overall yourself, and you had some um, NCAA All-American competition today, but you still came in pretty well. Tell us about your race. It was pretty challenging because from the beginning, we had thought it was going to be an easy, flat course. So that was embedded in my mind, but but we had ran previous before some challenging courses, so I think we was well prepared for it in our training. So. Did you did you hear some music out in the course? Yeah, I heard some good music, a lot of supporters. Uh, one good thing was we ran in the, um, it was some shaded areas, also the um, sponges and wet cold tiles kind of helped us out to keep our body temperatures cool. So. Um, well, congratulations, all of you, and uh, just one more thing, do, do you, what would you tell people the next time? Would you, would you try to fool them and tell them it was flat and fast? No, I wouldn't. I would tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I would really tell the truth. I would tell it was <laughs> I think we would come back again. Now, I noticed a lot of you have on matching blue, so are you all members of the Stone Steppers? Yes, we're all Stone Steppers, and uh, we just uh, take our uniforms off when it gets too hot. Ron couldn't find his, and Vidosa couldn't find her top. But yeah, we have a group of about, uh, in fact, we have about half of our group ran the Heart of the Hills today. So we have a group of about 20 or 24, and we train together in the mornings and go to different races, and so we have a good time. We're here with Ron Gunn, who's been race director for Steve's Run for, is it 32 years? Right. So you've been with it from the beginning. You may have one of the longest road race directorships in Michigan history as far as I can tell. I think so. In fact, I have a, I think I wrote you a letter or sent you an email, but I've been directing our turkey trot even longer than that. Well, you've had, I think it was over 1,300 runners on a pretty steamy hot day here in the end of July, but it's perfect Steve's run weather as far as I can tell. And um, tell us a little bit about what it feels like for the 32nd Steve's run to be history. Well, I just think to have over 1,300 runners on a day like this is incredible. <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, the course is very tough and the weather was really tough. And I guess the people are just tougher to get 1,300 people to come out and do this. You know, I mean, I could see maybe a flat 10K or curb and gutter or something like that. So, you know, for trail courses, you usually, you don't get mega crowds, but this it never ceases to amaze me. But I just think the community, uh, your involvement in terms of promoting running and run and our race, you've always been in our corners since the beginning. It's just, 
is just kind of creating a little ripple effect, and now it's starting to turn into a wave. <laughs> One of the things I noticed, uh, t I always notice it, but I really noticed it today, is the quality of the competition. It's not a flat, fast course, but you sure get some really top runners here. How do you do that? Well, I think it's the nature of the course. I think true runners like a challenge, and they like variety, and they like trail running and jumping hay and logs and stone fences. Uh, I took some teams internationally to Europe, and it was really a change. And I think uh, real runners like that challenge, and it gives them a change of pace in their training. And uh, so we're very fortunate. We don't really pay any prize money. We try to put all of our funds into making it just a quality experience for everybody. And fortunately, we have a lot of class people who will come up, who will run fast, and will still enjoy it. You had a couple of college teams that showed up today. Now, Notre Dame has showed up previously, but this year you had Brigham Young University from Utah. How did they get here? I don't know. That was a real surprise. In fact, downtown I saw some guys running around in blue shorts, and they looked like great collegiate runners. And I just say, hey, are you Notre Dame? And they looked at me and said, BYU. And I thought, that's the first time I've ever had a Notre Dame athlete kind of smart off. <laughs> then I found out later it was actually Brigham Young University. And so I took the Coach Fiani and I said, I don't and he said, right, it's Brigham Young is here. So that was really cool. Yeah. Somehow they found out about the race, maybe talking with other college runners. And we've had some other really good college runners come in too. So I, we're pleased to have them. That's great. Well, in fact, I was watching. Um, um, an All-American, uh, maybe eight times over, uh, Molly Huddle, and I thought ahead of time, she's going to win the 5K again, but then she didn't show up at the 5K. I said, uh-oh, she's running the 10K. She's going to win that, and sure enough, she did. What do you think about that? Well, she probably could have placed in the 5K <laughs> running the 10K. She's a real sweetheart, and she's great. You know, I mean, wow, but what a representative for the great sport of distance running, somebody like that, a great student, and... Uh, it's really neat to have her just 25 miles away at the University of Notre Dame. Of course, Tim Conley and Joe Piani do a great job with that program. Well, we also noticed quite a few um, high school teams from Valparaiso and Elkhart and uh, a couple other places in Indiana. Uh, yeah, we had like almost 25 to 30. I think it's because of fired up coaches that want to see this as a great training opportunity. I think the sport is really picking up again and we have a new breed of coaches that are really working these kids. I think, uh, I think the fact that the internet um, lets them all know about each other's times helps too. And I want to thank you for everything you've done for the sport of running and we'll just say fire up. <laughs> thank you, Jenny. You guys do a great job and we appreciate what you do for the great sport of distance running. Thanks, Ron. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. There's one. Yeah. 11.07. Ten K with her. First female. Yep.